Hey coaches, Coach Simpson with fbcoachsimpson.com. Appreciate you checking out my YouTube channel. I try to have a lot of materials on there. This one we're going to talk about blitzing rules and something that I've we've, we've found a lot of success with with our athletes. It can be done at really any level. You know, there's a lot of uh, coaches that like to send pressure, and we believe that's a good thing to do, especially you know at, at really any level of football. But if you're sending pressure and you're not teaching uh, some simple things, it can really give you issues. And so I want to talk about uh, one of our blitz rules, probably the most important one we think we teach, and that's this, aiming points. You know, a lot of people will work a stunt drill, and they'll have bags there, and they're working okay, try to time it up, and that's good. You know, that's something you could, could do a whole YouTube on that too. Timing does matter. You don't want to just walk up there too early. But the second thing that we work, and probably the most important thing we work, is aiming point. You know, where are we aiming on our blitz. And a lot of times what we'll do as coach, I know I've done it, is we'll set up cones or I'll stand back there and nobody moves and they blitz to whatever spot you've told them to blitz to and they get comfortable doing that, okay? Then the game hits and they blitz that spot and the quarterback or back does something and breaks contain. And now you're in trouble because the guy you were sending was basically your force player and you've given up contain. Or it could be an inside player and he gives up the inside, whatever it is, we're gonna use our outside backers in this video kind of as an example of how we teach aiming points and blitzes. So we don't, I don't like to ever use cones or yard marks because you know, you're, and that stuff's not gonna beat you. So anytime we do aiming points, we like to do it on live bodies. That could be a coach, that could be going slow, it doesn't be full speed, but we always work on where are we aiming for in relation to the ball or the backfield. Okay, so if we're sending our outside backer off of the edge, he is our force player. He has to understand that we're going to take the deepest hip in the backfield. So if he's coming off the edge, the deepest hip right now would be the running back. So if I'm blitzing, coming off the edge, my aiming point is here. That's going to move. So when the, we say go and he starts blitzing, we start giving him different reads. So the running back could step up and pass protection. Well, now the deepest hit became the quarterback. So now we're going to work, okay, that's pass protection. Now I'm aiming for the quarterback's deepest hit. All right. The running back could step away, like zone read. Well, now again, I'm aiming for the quarterback's deepest hit because if he pulls it, that's my guy. Okay. The running back could run towards us. So he could attack us. Well, now my aiming point needs to be here because I've got to set an edge. I've got to make sure I'm deep enough where they're not getting outside of me. So by teaching one little thing there, we've now taught our outside backer how to handle, you know, pass play, zone read, roll out. And if you flip it and put the running back on the other side, it's the same rules. So if I'm stunting, the deepest hip starts off as the quarterback. All right. If I'm stunting and I get this action, then now I've got to get here because the deepest hit became the running back on whatever it was. All right, if quarterback rolls out away from me, same deal. I'm coming at his back hip. I don't know how many times we've seen, and I don't know if you've seen, he blitz off the backside edge, he gets too deep, they run reverse on you, or they, he gets out of the pocket and reverses field. So by teaching the deepest hip, and again, I've kind of harped on that, the deepest hip, the deepest hip, the deepest hip, you've protected yourself. One other thing we'll do, Okay, is we have a couple calls. I'm not going to go through all of it here, but if we are blitzing, and let's say we get a swing route, okay, and your defense, you know, you're blitzing, he runs a swing route, they dump a swing route out, it's a touchdown because no one's out there, okay? So we have our outside backer. He doesn't know he's running what we call a peel technique, but he is. If we are stunting and the deepest hip runs a swing, I ought to peel because that's my rule. I'm stunting to the deepest hip. The deepest hip came this way, I'm there, which takes care of, in our mind, takes care of option, takes care of a swing route. We have a couple kill calls there where we can just say, hey, you don't have to come off for whatever reason. But for the most part, as we're introducing blitzing, introducing aiming points, that's what we work. And that's how we work our drill. We have a coach, maybe two coaches, our coach and a, and a player, and we work aiming points in the different scenarios. And it's amazing how just teaching little things like aiming points 
has made us so much more effective at blitzing and so much more willing to blitz because we know we've covered all our bases. A lot of times as a DC, you can get very nervous about blitzing if you're not sure that they might run X, Y, or Z. But if you've covered all your bases, you can be a lot more aggressive when you send your outside backers. And again, we'll work the same general rules our inside backers. You know, what's their aiming point? What are the scenarios? Don't just teach blitzing without teaching movement after the snap. It's probably one of the worst things that I know I did as a young coach and I know we can continue to do as coaches. Have a lot more information over at fbcoachsimpson.com. If you want to learn more about our 3-4 defense, there's books in there, there's materials in there, there's you know PowerPoints in there. Just kind of go to the website and check it out. If you need any help, you can also comment on this video. I'll try to get back with you as quick as I can. Thanks for your time.